hello friends so now we are going to start php inventory management system so first of all i am going to show you requirement so you will get exact idea actually what requirement we are going to cover in this so you can see i made this file for requirement this is the php inventory management system so we are going to use php and backend we are going to use mysql i mysql i is same as mysql but this is the latest version so we are going to use zamp it is very easy we are going to generate this inventory management system it is also known as stock management system and yeah this is totally dynamic so you can use for supermarket and if you want to use this for medical store or if you want to use this for your shop then also this is very useful on it this is dynamic so you can use in any requirement basically there are two types of user we are going to cover one is user and one is admin and this is the user functionalities user can log in user can add items on that time when we are going to increase the stock user can sell the items on that time we are going to decrease the stock yeah user can take items as written also means uh, if we are getting any item written then also we are going to cover this functionality and user can generate the bills this is the basic functionalities of user now we are going to cover admin functionalities so admin can log in admin can add a new user in this system admin can see the user login activity means uh, when user login when user log out that we are going to cover in this system then user can add unit like if you are going to use this project for medical store then you need to use pcs means medicines are in pcs or if you want to use this for your any other shop then you need to use drums kg something like this and something you are going to use liquid then you need to use here liter so i will show you how you can use this then admin can add purchase part info means we are going to take this product from any other parties on that time you need to add this party info that i will show you no worry about it admin can add product information like product name product amount today's date quantity purchase party name then purchase type case check and expiry date etc etc admin can add record when purchase an item so it will be increase the store yeah this is the default and also admin can delete the items also admin can sold item can generate the bill yeah admin can sold the item on that time we have to decrease the stock admin can add expiry date of products also if needed then admin can see the nearest expiry date product yeah that is fine because you can see if product is going to expire then we need this type of list so we can generate that type of list here admin can see the information of stock yeah admin can see the purchase report admin can see the sales report admin can see the report of any party from whom they purchase product means a uh, you take product from means you buy product from 50 people then if you want to check the person a from person a how many products we buy from this month this week or total then we can generate that type of report also admin can see the day to day selling also between two dates selling report that's fine admin can see the current stock of items and also print the report of that items yeah admin can see the nearest expiry product list which we cover already admin can take the items as a return also yeah same thing here if user takes return then admin also can product return and admin can generate all types of bills so we are going to cover these functionalities you can see in these functionalities we cover everything so easily you can make any inventory management system i hope you like this requirement so please like it and share it maximum thank you so much for watching my video